Hey, what's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I want to make a quick video talking to you guys about Drake's new album, Views or Views from the Six, whatever you want to call it. Um, the actual title is Views, so I guess, you know, we should call it that. Um, but yeah, it's been a few days since it came out and I wanted to just quick make this video discussing my, you know, opinions on the album and kind of like the reaction that the uh, fans had basically or the internet in general had to the album uh, when it first came out. And, uh, you know, so if you guys, you know, obviously you come here for Call of Duty, so you can watch the video if you want. If you're not a Drake fan or whatever, you can just, you can click off the video. Uh, but I, this is something that I really wanted to talk about because it's it's kind of, bo it bothered me at least when, when the uh, album first came out. And um, that is people's immediate, like, reaction to hate on it. And, and like, it was crazy. Like, I remember, like, it was like 11.45 at night right before it dropped or, like, Drake, like, tweeted, like, it was up or something. Uh, and I downloaded it and, like... I don't know it finished downloading kind of late because the internet was really shitty here it finished maybe like 12 30 or something in the morning and uh there were already people on like twitter yik yak things like that just different social media platforms saying like oh you know i listened to it it's not that good or it's not a good album this and that and i'm like how can you even it the shit's been out for 30 minutes you can't even have li listened to the whole thing like first off you, you didn't even listen to the whole thing uh and i'd be willing to bet that you just skim through like 15 seconds of each song or you just listen to like the itunes preview of every song and then came to that conclusion like oh it's garbage like dude uh, <laughs> how is that like a real thing like how why do people have this like super mob mentality towards stuff like that I mean, I think it's just because Drake's so popular and every single album that he's released uh, has been, you know, pretty good. It's got good reviews, everything, you know, he's obviously a legend, super, super successful. Um, and I think just because it's so mainstream, people just immediately want to hate on it because they want to be the first person to have a different opinion. At. And like, like, I, I understand that. And sometimes I fall into that trap too. But, you know, you have to, you, you just look really stupid, especially with something like Views where, you know, the album's actually really good. You know, I've listened to it a bunch of times uh, and the album is really good. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the album. I think every song has a purpose and a meaning and it's just, it's very well put together. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of the album. But to have people just be on Twitter like fucking 15 minutes after the shit comes out like, oh, it's trash, oh, it's garbage, oh, it's bad. And like, I think the, the you know, obviously people have this mob mentality and they just want to hate on it because, you know, that's the, uh, you know, the differing opinion or, you know, the going against the grain opinion, uh, like the hipster opinion kind of, kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, on top of that, I think people might have had an expectation for this album as they do with every Drake album. Uh, and when you go into an album super hyped up with a super high expectation of what you want it to be, uh, you're gonna get let down because it's never gonna be like that. You know, reality is never going to be just like you envision it in your head, you know? And I think a lot of people that started hating on it originally, like right out of the gate, um, they were hoping for like a full album of just like bangers or a full album of like, you know, if you've listened to the album, the song Hype, I think they wanted a full album like that where it was just like, you know, you know, just banger after banger or, or you know, just lyrics and flow for every single thing. And, and you know, I think a lot of people were expecting expecting that and wanted that uh and that's just unreasonable because that's never been like drake's thing he's never released an album like that you know what i mean he's never done a project like that so why people were expecting that i'm not entirely sure um but yeah overall i think the album is really good i've listened to it a bunch of times and it's it's so i just every song like i said it just it feels great um you know some of my favorites are views uh, Child's Play, Hype, Weston, Road, Flows, Still Here and Feels No Ways. I don't know, the whole album is just so good. I mean, I, I, I'm looking over the, the track list right now, trying to like pick out songs that I think are really good, but like the first few that I mentioned are definitely like my favorite, um, but the whole thing is really good and I think it, it, it works really well if you listen to it like chronologically, you know, you start with the first song and you listen all the way through. I think that's probably the best way to listen to it, uh, but you, it does have the ability where you can pick out individual songs and just like enjoy them, you know, and, and I know that uh, that sounds weird, like of course you can enjoy individual songs, but I think like some artists actually produce like albums where I can, I can only really listen to it as a piece, uh, and I can't really pick individual um, like 
things out. You know, um, Earl Sweatshirt comes to mind. He's one rapper that, or artist, musician, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's one person that when I listen to his music, I can't really just like pick out one song out of like uh, an album, especially his last one. I really have to just start with the first one and play it all the way through because uh, that's just the way that it sounds the best to me for some reason i don't know like if i if i try to jump around the songs don't sound as good out of order so yeah but with this with this album it sounds the best in order but you can easily pick out certain tracks that you actually like and i think that's uh you know a really nice position to be in when making an album so again overall really enjoy the album i'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below uh you know i just i want to hear your opinion if you've listened to it if you like drake or what you think of his album um to me it reminded me a bit of take care which a lot of people think is like his best uh or you know best piece of work collectively um it did remind me a little bit of that and you know so i think it has you know a good uh, vibe going right now I'm, I'm really enjoying it and um yeah guys don't don't mob mentality hate things every time something comes out whether it's a it's an album you know with music or with video games or anything don't jump on the mob mentality bandwagon don't hate it just because everyone else is hating it just take a step back like try to erase your expectations of whatever it is you know because like i said you're always going to be let down no matter what it is just try and ignore your expectations ignore all the mob mentality bullshit hype uh, and just digest it for yourself even even if the album is garbage at least you can say that you came to that conclusion on your own uh, and I think that's a lot more valuable than just like having everyone else say oh it's garbage and just be like oh okay it's garbage I won't even you know I won't even try <laughs> uh, it's just it's lazy so if you really want to have a legitimate opinion just listen to it for real play it all the way through two three four five times actually give it a chance and see what you think about it and let me know in the comment section below what you think make sure you leave a rating on the video i would really appreciate it uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one i don't think you're going to be disappointed and that's about it guys thanks for watching i'm new york out peace